Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, former Envoy Extreme here. Here we are on La Mera Farm, and this is going to be a map tour. A map created by Andre ML Modding, Wesley Franco and Renegados Modding. It is 328.51 megabytes to download. There are some required mods, there is 13, yes, 13 required mods. The ESC Large Sheds by DH Modding. The Farm Entrance by Noimog Mod. The Bunk Style Set by Razak. Farm House by Noimog Mod. The South Brazilian Warehouse by ML Modding, DH Modding. The Forestry Cell Point by Gamer Design. The Brazilian Fences Pack by Zero Oito. The Pig Feed by Insatia by Grangero Vergemani Modding. Dash Lost Gamer, the Lizard Circular Pivot Irrigation by Hispano Modding, the Confining Cows by Grangero Vergamani Modding Dash Lost Gamer, the Small Farm Pack by Holtz FS, the Sun Brazil Shed by Gian FS, and lastly the BR Metal Shed by Gian FS. So, yeah, it's a Brazilian map requiring a lot of mods. Like with Dutch maps, we're recording a lot of Dutch mods, but aside from that, overall this map ain't too bad actually. I had a little look around. Just, yeah, it's still a first impression, so I just had to go around the map a little bit because when I first loaded on, on new farm mode and in general, I had severe lag and I like, it was like, just game was like laggy as hell, low FPS, around single digits I think. And yeah, you get it sometimes with maps, especially you get it with maps in general when there's a new update to the game. All you have to do is fly around, drive around, or even run around the map now for a little bit. So yeah, spend a couple of minutes just running around the entire map and it seemed to have cleared things up. So yeah, we're on new foreign mode. Slot count is 1193. You can get down to 1,000 money slots on Farm Manager and sort from scratch without the equipment. You can go even to the 800s if you remove a lot of these sheds and that. But anyways, let's read the description of the map. The Limera Farm is a Brazilian map relief with real PDA in the region of Munip Municipality of Limera State of Sao Paulo. The map has a medium and small fields, all with missions, as well as fields for forestry. There are three new crops of rice, coraco beans and alfalfa. So as you farmer, you have some vehicles and animals, which I'll have a look at in a sec. The machine shop is located at the city's gas station. City with a market accepts of various products. Fuel location attached to the vehicle workshop. Grains in general can be sold at two warehouses on the map. The cover market accepts various products such as potatoes, beets, milk, pallets and support DLCs. If you need lime, take a trip to the limestone cellar and you can sell stones there. Bells in general can be sold at the Celero. Some milk go to the covered market or add a dairy product to produce milk products. You start off with warming headquarters, contain sheds, storing machinery as well as house sleeping, one slide store grain, a chicken pasture, and a fuel tank. All land on the map can be purchased, which I am glad. Not often you see that. Objects present in the headquarters can be sold for customization. The map also has a sugarcane factory and you can sell sugarcane and buy vanessa and felt cakes. There is no snow as because in the region it's cold and dry in the winter. Because yeah, if we have a look at the PDA. So yeah, first of all with seasons, since we're in the southern hemisphere, we are on the southern hemisphere crop calendar, so things like wheat. You plant it in February to April and harvest it mid-August and that, or July. And yeah, you could pretty much do all the crops, yeah, including grapes and olives. So yeah, we've got rice, alfalfa, and kuro quinoa beans. So if you want to, you can have rice and beans if you want to. We have a bit of sugar on sides, but yeah, enough puns on sides. 
But yeah, things like sunflower plant in September or October, and harvestite in April or May. So, if you're not familiar with Brazilian maps, this is kind of crop counter you can expect. And yeah, looking at the PDA, it's mainly a sparse forestry jungle-like map. Nothing too dense with trees now, it's very sparsely. Not too many fields, as mentioned, it's only small and medium fields. Of course, if you want to, you can get away with expanding the map. So yeah, we will own a massive headquarters area worth 1.8 mil. And yeah, you can buy subsequent war to over a mil. 6 million for the perimeter net. So yeah, we do have the pivot aggregation. However, to use that, you need to purchase plot three or field 32 to be able to use that. So, one thing to note on that. Yeah, so you got your town up here. You can purchase the little plots in the town. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, got your cell points in that over here. Warehouse two. Got a little quarry for lime station and debris crusher. So yeah, let's have a little tour of the main farm, so yeah, this is where you spawn, got a dog, got some equipment in that, and yeah, if you head over here, got your horse pasture in that, so there we go, feed and water triggers there, dialogue box is here, and yeah, we've got two horses, and look at the rest of the animals. Two horses. We've got 20 cows in a cow barn. Another 50 in another cow barn. And another 40. Sorry, 40 and 4 in cow barns. Yeah, two horse pastures. And yep, yeah, another cow barn large. So yeah, I'm going to leave the help menu open up. And yeah, so. Also, you mentioned slot count. So. On new farm mode already, we're on 1193. And as I already mentioned, on farm manager, start from scratch, goes down to 1009. And yeah, because the map is customizable, or at least the main farm is, you can get slot counts if you sell the right stuff lower. So yeah, what do you start off with? With small tractors, we've got the John Deere 6120M. For medium tractors, we've got the John Deere 6250R. Harvesters, we've got the John Deere T560. For cars, we've got the Pickup 2017 and the John Deere XUV X65M. Trailers, we've got the Brantner TA23065-2 Power 2 Plus. Orgo wagons, we've got the Bergman GTW330. Got a John Deere 625X 7.6 meter header. Subsoilers, we've got the Agrisem Combi Pal gold 4 meter. For our planters we've got the John Deere 117, well, sorry, 1775 NT. For sprayers of course we've got the Pivot and as well as the Hardy Mega 1200L. Also got the Bredel Kit 105. Got the Berry Manure Director 14 Manure Spreader. The Farmtech Supersys 800 sorry, Spreader. Also we've got a mix Wagon. We've got a Shawbearer, so the Kuhn Primorph 15070M and the Kuhn RA142. And yeah, got the Lizard MKS8, so that transports your milk, water, and your herbicide and di fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. And then, lastly, we do have a front loader for the John Deere, but no equipment, so. Got your main shed storage here, so you got your silo. So you open that up, so you got your drill, got your header now for the combine, got your trailer, plow, and orgo wagon over here. So yeah, tractors are over there, no, sorry, cars are over there, tractors are over here. So yeah, got your cows, feeding trigger, and that is here. And yeah, it's pretty much similar to what you're used to. Got a manure pit there. And I do love these like with the pastures in that way, so for your, your dialogue box, you can hold 200 cows with this one. 
Just drive your life salt tray up here, park it up as you wish, unfold it, and yeah, in that way it'll sort of simulate realism in a way. And yeah, your story output is here. So yeah, that's that. Next, we'll head over here. And yeah, once we've toured the main farm, we'll drive around. So yeah, you've got another shed. This is where your combine and tractors are, along with the rest of your equipment, pretty much. And yeah, down here. So yeah, got. So yeah, I do love these farm signs. Yes, it's a required mod, which I yeah, in general, I am not a huge fan of required mods, but. If it works, and it's for a good reason, eh, I could get away with it. So you got another cow barn. Can hold up to 500 cows here. And if we head over here, got your furs off feeding triggers. And yep, yeah, so you've got yeah, cow, you got a trigger there. Sorry, outputs here. So I'll look at my notes a sec. So yeah, my bad, my correction error. So let's say if we purchase a bunch more cattle, which we, of course we can. There is another trigger down here. So yeah, let's go and open these gates. There we go. And yeah, yeah, as as a fault, these are separate. So purchase I have a thousand cows here along with this cow barn here which is 200 cattle so yeah 1200 cow you can have so of course on new farmer mode you do have a lot of feeds TMR strewn out yeah all taken care of all pretty much topped up so Whoever was here before us didn't just leave the animals to starve, they topped them up and then they just left and yep, yeah, we're taking over in a way. So yeah, not too bad. So yeah, let's go into our PDA. So it looks around the main farm area. In terms of fields and that, we do have 33. And yeah, just a lot of forestry. And yeah, also fields 14, 15 and 16. So yeah, let's go into our pickup here. And good thing is about our equipment is they're not heavily worn, so that's lovely. So let me actually put some money in a sec. And then we'll start driving around. So yeah, there we go. Got some money in. But before we go around, so yeah, there are some obviously of course mods in that. As part of the required mods, there are a lot of sheds. So you got ESC sheds, wool farm sheds, South Brazilian that. And yep, yeah, similar under silos. So yeah, if you don't like what you've got with the map, you can heavily customize this to your desire. So you got your bunker silo sets. Got no side extensions. Containers, wool farm and that. Tools against small farm pack. So yeah, there's no like map mods by the map maker, just all part of the required mods. And yeah, like as much as again I like, critique with required mods, they do look pretty nice, like these some of these farm entrances. And yeah, also just double check. Landscaping, painting, also you got your typical textures with Aussie being South America. So you got your wet sand, granite, gravel. Get the variations of gravel. Trees and that, nothing. Plants. Do you have some, like the Alpera, Elderweeds, 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 I'm not sure. Bluebells, Daisy, so yeah. Your typical flowers you'll see blooming around this kind of region. But yeah, so anyways, we'll start driving around. And I think what we do is turn around, 
We'll go to the south section of our farm. And then, yeah, we'll have a little drive around, up and around, look around the pivot irrigation, into the town, and then we'll end up at the mine, or the cooperative cell point over here. So there we go, just turn off where we were. So yeah, there's a various ways you can get to the south section. There's like two paths along here, of course we're going on the main one. So yeah, outside the farm gate. And yeah, you'll see what I mean by the map itself is, yeah, very sparse in that. Not too many fields, but of course, be careful. And yeah, it was not meant to come out there. But yeah, anyways, in terms with field expansion, yeah, fields are quite expensive. Yeah, around a couple hundred grand to a couple of mil. But yeah, once you get the money in sorted, now whatever, you can just expand the fields to your heart desire. So yeah, open the help menu back up. So yeah, I've got a shed down here. Another shed. A silo. And yeah, I've got a fuel tank over here. Yeah, more sheds than that, so... Yeah, you can have sort of a split farm vibe in the ways. But yeah, I really do underrate some of these Brazilian maps, I will admit to that. Just not my cup of tea, or at least the first thing that will pop into my head. But anyway, so... Head, so yeah, down there is just the map border and that. And yeah, once again... I do have to give praise where it's due on a map that has a seamless boundary, like it blends in with the map. That I do admire. So you've got fields down there, just a little cluster section. Again, if you want to, purchase all those fields and merge them together. And yeah, also let's go and purchase this. So yeah, I just want to have a look. See if there's any other points of interest. So you got your the, the mayor mills, manure points, Aussie quarry over there, warehouse two, warehouse one, and uh, yeah, I guess this is gonna be where your productions are. Bell cell station, workshop, so it's gonna be spawn point over there, textile and fair. And in terms with prices, actually, yeah, looking at the crop prices, not too bad. And of course, because we're in the southern hemisphere, the when the peaks and flows when you sell, Aussie reflects. So yeah, actually, def decent price for the quinoa beans and rice, even. And yep, yeah, as far as I'm aware, if you've got the DLCs like the premium expansion. The fair will accept the red beets and land the production stuff as well. But of course, if that wasn't your particular fancy, then you could always use the sell every container by Shops Modding. So yeah, we're gonna head up north. Oops. Yeah, head up north, head to the irrigation. And yeah, I want to have a little look at that. And into the sand we go. We even have some traffic here, so yeah, just carve into the landscape. A little bit bumpy, but overall not too bad. And yeah, like the level of traffic in that is decent. Once again, something you expect in a busy area, in a way. In a way it's busy, but also it's all like heavily populated. So yeah, obviously got our pivot here. We'll find a way to enter. Which I'm guessing is uh, over here somewhere. Alright, so yeah, there we go. So I'll park up here. Obviously open gates. Again, very beautiful areas. So yeah, go and 
purchase this. So, yeah, purchase field free or well, plot free field 72 for, yeah, 775 grand. But again, you do have access to the pivot irrigation system. Actually, was that all linked? Oh no, that's linked to the pond. I was like thinking, is that linked to this pivot system? I'm pretty sure it ain't, but... So yeah, now you've purchased the area, you can't use it as you wish. And yeah, as far as I can gather, with things like the pivot system, you don't necessarily need all the spaces as you see here. I think like realistic, well not realistically, but from what I can gather, like like this bit here is just wasted space, so all you need is just literally two wheel tracks of whatever equipment you're using to transport if you're moving this around. But if this is a fixed place then you're good, so you need to turn on. And actually this does have a liquid fertilizer already. So yeah, turn on rotation. All that is rotating. I'm not sure if it's the was it three minute cycle. By the looks of it, I think it is. So yeah, when I say a three minute cycle, not three meter, it rotates around in three minutes or so. That means it has a time to do a full rotation and still be able to turn on because I think it's like after three minutes or so. Like vehicles will automatically turn off if you're away from them. Of course, yeah, we're fully fertilized, so at the moment we're just really burning the crop. But yeah, I do love those irrigation systems, and I think that's the biggest one or second biggest one. Because yeah, like with the pivot system, depending on the field you've got, you can have up to, I think it's like a three section unit. Yeah, I'm not too sure on that. I haven't really used them too much. Yeah, I was going to use it on Evergreen Valley before that went to pot. So yeah, head into town. Let's have a little scoot up here. Eee, as always. So yeah, head up here, hop over the fence. And yeah, this is going to be your animal dealership. So yeah, you can top up your horses, cows and that. And yeah, that's one thing I did notice, where we've got a... pens. I think that's to do with the map makers... Uh, what was it? The last map? Uh, what was it? The Subi Duro farm, where in a recent update the pig farm was removed, so... Guessing the pig farm was having issues on his or their last map. So for this map, they just built, yeah, may have left the pig trigger in. But of course, removed the pig pen, but that's just me spec uh, speculating. So yeah, we're in the town. Yeah, I just want to see what these little errors are here. You can purchase 36, 37, and 38. Yeah, a nice little quaint town. Of course, there's room for expansion if you wish. Ooh, cool on the curb there. Oh yeah. One thing to be careful is be careful of the curbs. There are 20 collectibles, so that is, was it, the game cartridges, so that can be dotted all over the place, I'm sure, in key points. I'm not sure we missed some at the farm, but yeah. This is the fair, and I'm just looking for any collectibles. Uh, nope, not as far as I can see. Anywho, so yeah, that is the fair. That's going to be your main bulk sell point. And then you yeah, head down here. It's going to be your bell sell point. What's it called again? Uh, have a little look. Textile, so my bad. It says textiles here, but 
Actually, it's over here, so... No, your bell cell point is... over here. Yeah, I just saw the bell was awful. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, this is your... textile shop area. Uh, can you actually purchase this? Because... Yeah, if you're selling textiles over... Well, they'll gain that. Come on, all. Don't think you can. No, it's got like the ideas of simming it, but you can't actually purchase this because yeah, that would be a shame. So it should be nice to actually purchase a Brazilian textile factory. So, yeah, I know we've got mods now. We've got textile factories, so lovely jubbly. But yeah, if you're on a Brazilian map, why not have a actual Brazilian production chain. I know we've got some Brazilian production chains that I've used previously. But yeah, this is your bell cell point. And yeah, once again, just looking for collectibles. Just one. Just so I can show you folks. But yeah, so that's going to be your... This is going to be your vehicle reset point over here. Along with your workshop trigger. And repair. So yeah, dealer icons here, exit here, spawns over there, got your fuel station. Yeah, I may actually spend a few minutes looking around for collectibles, but hey who? that's your repair trigger. Anyway, it's getting sidetracked. Just going to stop looking for the collectibles. If I see something on my way around, then yep, yeah, I'll stop and show. But yeah, here we are, we're going to be at the warehouse, so this is one of the two areas you sell your production pallets and all that. So yeah, going to our prices. So yeah, things like your, oh sorry, the fares for your productions, the warehouses for your crops, so do you have two options. Prices are pretty much the same with my fluctuations. But yeah, even once again, you can purchase this area, which we already have. Oh yeah, this sale is going to look at some of these areas over here, so... Yeah, got your warehouse. Your pig feed buy point is over there, just right ahead of us. Your inputs over there. But yeah, let's look at some of those areas we purchased. Ah, right, I figured it out. So yeah, it's just a little placeable areas these are, so... Do have three designated placeable areas, if you wish. Ah, yeah, so we've done... Yep, yeah, pivot, we've done this part of the town. Let's go hook left, and yeah, we'll start heading down. Past warehouse 2, and we'll end up down south. Oh yeah, once again. Also, map, I can't really fault it so far. Maybe I'm going to re fault it is even part of mods, but apart from that, yeah, call me being over harsh on that, but. Ooh, actually. Well, a little off road section here. Ah, this would have been good with the monster truck that came out today, or. Technically, yesterday I'm recording it, because I'm recording this on Thursday, but. Yeah, got a little off road section. Against little buggies, little carts. Back at even the monster truck, I think we managed with this. Ah, yup. Ooh, over a blind crest. Got a really drone suspension test there. Bit skittish. Round the hairpin. Yeah, it's all a little mini race. Get some of your friends. Ooh. Nope, 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 crash. Yeah, no. Is that a crash? Uh, well, I think it was a crash. But yeah, through the final corner. And across the line, Envoy wins. But yeah. Actually, I didn't realise that was a racetrack. I thought it was a... some windy hills. Well, it is a windy hill map, but... Not in the speaking, you would think. So yeah, we'll take a quick hook to the left. 
Oh yeah, this is going to be a warehouse too. See, we've got bait bridge. Got stuff. Obviously, your input of your stuff over here. And actually, can you sell these? Sell the lights. Can't sell the silos. Sell the sheds and that. That's what I mean by this map is very customizable. Because a lot of the heat placements are required mods. That does go in your favour in terms of if, if you're like, yeah, I like this map. I like the theme of it, I like the look of it. Just want to make some minor adjustments then. By all means, crack on. So yeah, next let's head to the quarry. So there we go. Just turn off the main road. And yeah, this is going to be like your quote-unquote quarry area. Of course, if you wish, you could just whack some stones out and yeah, have a proper quarry in that. But yeah, stick shortcut down. Stick on the sick landing. See it right on to the pit. And yeah, this is going to be your light station. Ah, uh, so yeah, you've got your light station here, so you can put your stones in for your debris crusher and that. And yeah, get your lime from over here. Yep, yeah, again, no doors or anything like that. In a way, it's supposed to simulate, obviously, turn stones into lime. Yeah, just placeable, solid objects. Can't enter anything. So yeah, next let's head down tool over here, where we've got the, the mare mill and so yeah, that's going to be your slow area. So yeah, as we're leaving the quarry, now we're getting into like the proper like woodland sawmill area. And one thing to note is, I'm not sure if it's me or what, but this map does seem to lack major support for like AI workers. Not sure if it's because of, like signs and that, like go from one section to another. I'm having issues with that, so yeah, I'm not too sure on that. But anyway, so yeah, head over the Weybridge. So yeah, this is where you'll fill up your liquid manure. And to the left, we've got your sawmill over there. Got your manure point over here. So just double check. So yeah, by the looks of it. So yeah, manure. And then yeah, you've got your forestry cell point. And out of curiosity, can you actually purchase this area as a functional production chain, so yeah, got your wood cell point in that, lovely jubbly. But yeah, can you actually purchase this area and actually run this? Ah, what I'm on about, no, this is the, uh, what's it, sugar cane factory. So yeah, obviously you sell your sugar cane, and actually, to be correct, you fill up from here, not sell. So yeah, you fill up from here. Obviously tell by the triggers and that. So yeah, my correction is not a lumber mill, it's just a sugar cane factory. As mentioned in the uh, map description. But yes, overall, no custom productions. I love the idea of, okay, okay, fair enough, this is a sugar cane or whatever factory. But let the people have the ability to buy it, maybe. I don't know, it's just me being... Honestly, constructive criticism, that's how I do these map tours, like... I don't build, I don't rate map makers, even modders. I'll be honest, with my review. And yeah, if I got think of ideas of what could happen in a future update, which most likely wouldn't happen because it requires a lot more detailing in terms of compared to placing a building down to actually have a building yeah have a building with insights and functionality I know that's gonna be a huge step but who knows we may actually have a Brazilian map or South American map one day 
But let us do that. But yes, overall, if I had to rate this, I'll say around a 4 out of 5. Me being an over critique, and I'm used to playing other maps, so that's probably laid down by half a star or so. But yeah, besides from that, there is room for forestry. There ain't major farm areas, but get creative. The world is your oyster, as the saying goes. So yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave it for this map tour. If you enjoyed this, find it helpful and informative in some way, shape or form, smash that button, feel free to comment below. If you want to share this, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this will be from Everwood Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.